Well, hello everyone, it's Carrie, and I'm back with another video for you today. This time I'm using this brand new set from Miss Ink Stamps. This is such a cute set with a little kitty and some toilet paper, and we all know how much kitty cats love to do that, or at least I've heard they have. I've never had a cat in my life, so you'll have to let me know. <laughs> But it's got some cute sentiments like you're on a roll and let the good times roll. There are also some little paw prints you can use on the toilet paper roll. Very cute. Now I went ahead and used this frame die here. This is from the EIEIO frame die. And I cut out an A2 panel. And then I'm also using this little miniature frame right here from the Oh Happy Day frame die set. And I'm also going to use the word happy which I've already cut out of gold cardstock. So that's gonna be the start of our card here, and I kind of have an idea of what I wanna do. So let's see how it all turns out. <laughs> We're gonna start with this small panel right here and stamp on that little cat. I thought it would be fun to use the tiger stripe stencil and then color the cat up to look a little like a tiger. He'll be more like an orange striped cat, but with some tiger vibes to him. So this is gonna be fun to create. I'm gonna go ahead and start by stamping the cat with the toilet paper and also the sentiment, you're on a roll. I left plenty of room between the stamped cat and that sentiment so that I could put the happy die cut right in the middle there. And now with the frame that was left over from cutting out that panel, I'm going to use the tiger stripe stencil, this one right here, and that's gonna go around the frame. And that's gonna give us some more tiger feels to this card. I love this stencil, I think it's so great. I actually also think that it would be fun to create your own sentiment that uh, says tiger on there, or way to go tiger, something like that. And Miss Ink does have a lot of alphabet stamp sets that you could do that with. So I started out with some lighter orange and now I'm going in with Crackling Campfire and just going around the edges to darken up the tiger stripes. So I'll use a smaller brush to do that just around the edges. And there you go, that's our tiger striped frame. So this is going to fit really well in there. And then for the small little thin frame, I'm also gonna color that up orange. Now the person I'm making this card for, I had in mind, <laughs> was one of my nephews whose favorite color is orange right now. Their favorite colors change so fast that it's hard to keep up, but I think it's still orange. <laughs> Hopefully this will work out. So I'm gonna go ahead and color up that toilet paper using some cool grays to just kind of put those shadows in where I think the shadows might be this is gonna be some really fast, easy coloring on the toilet paper, because of course, toilet paper is white, so I'm just adding in some shadows. So I've got the C3 and then blending that out with a C1, and I'll go in even with a lighter color to blend that out. And that's all we're going to do to the toilet paper, just keeping it mostly white. So you'll see that it's quite easy and fun to do. Just don't think about it too much. Don't get in your head too much about it, just some shadows. So here's the C00 to blend that to the white. So I did leave white and just put those shadows in for that. Just wanna check that out there and that's gonna look really good just like that. And now I'm gonna go in with some pinks for the ears of this little tiger cat. And now I've got some oranges here. The YR02 is what I'll start out with to just kind of draw in the stripes where I think the stripes are gonna go. But then I'll go in with a darker orange to make them a little more pronounced. I'm gonna make a striped tail, completely striped here. So there's more orange on the tail. And then I'll bring in that darker orange. This is YR15. And I'll just darken those stripes up and then just start blending. I'm gonna leave part of the cat a little bit white as well. So you'll see that as I blend through. I, I did bring in one other orange color just for good measure. This is the YR00 and that's the lightest color. So I'm gonna use that right now to color in most of the cat. 
but you can see I'm leaving the tummy mostly white. So it's going to have a little bit of variation there. And then here's YR, yeah, YR triple zero, and that's going to finish blending that cat out. So I did add a little bit darker stripe to finish him up and went through all the colors once again. And there's our little tiger cat. And here's our little mini frame. And I did think it was missing something at this point. So I am going to bring in a dark, a darker gray cardstock to act as a mat. And I'll show you that in just a second. Just checking that out on my card base. And I do want to pop this panel up. So it's going to have a little dimension to it. So here's this gray metallic paper that I have, and I'm gonna use that as a matte layer. That will bring out more of the, the different colors that I wanna have on this, the oranges, the blacks, and the whites, all tiger themed. <laughs> and this also is going to delineate a little bit more from this panel to the back tiger striped panel. Now I'm just using tiny little bits of glue to glue on this tiny little frame, which I love. <laughs> this comes in handy. I end up using this more often than I expect. And that's gonna be the orange frame around that entire panel, just like that. And then we'll just add the finishing touches. So the happy, uh, which is cut out of gold cardstock, I'm gonna add that right there underneath the cat. And I'll add the tiger striped frame onto our card base. And here's the gold happy that I'm adding to that panel, just like this. It's very simple to line up when you have that sentiment already beneath it. I didn't use a ruler for this part at all, but you certainly can use a T-square ruler to make sure you have it straight if you would like. I've got some foam, fun foam here that I'm going to add behind the panel. It just so happened that I had this piece of brown that was almost the perfect size. So I ended up using it. And I like to use score tape on my actual panel to add to the fun foam because I don't want my panel to buckle with liquid glue and the fun foam, which I find that sometimes it does once it dries, it buckles. So I use the score tape and then I attach the whole thing to the back with some liquid adhesive. And I just like to do it that way. <laughs> it tends to turn out better on the front part of the card, in my opinion. So here's a look at our final card. I like the gold that shimmers. I like the touches of orange and that tiger cat. It's really fun and easy to create. I hope you did enjoy this video as well. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That helps us out with YouTube so much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll be back with more card inspiration real, real soon. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.